Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. I teach online voice and piano all over the world using Zoom, FaceTime and Skype. So if you are interested in getting some lessons, please go to my website at vocalsplendor.com. But as for today, I am doing another reaction video and yes, I'm doing another reaction video from Best of Zangers season 2019. This time I'm reacting to Emma Hester's singing Sex Machine for Hank Port. Let's have a listen. <laughs> great controller for voice. It's a lighter instrument, but she is very masterful in how she does it. And so she starts with, here's that voice with a little breath. Hey. So there's a little air in the tone, which I think some people confuse for auto-tune. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that later, but what I've seen her is she's spot on with her voice and she is in complete control of how she sings. You just have to stop. <laughs> when Hank had that face, he's kind of like, oh my gosh, this is almost too much because here is this gorgeous girl who is a beautiful singer and just absolutely gorgeous dancing for him. It's got to feel overwhelming. dancing but when she was singing she's right up like this and then she does her thing and then she shimmies and then she sings straight on so she sounds fabulous and she looks so comfortable <laughs> her sing. To be honest, when I first saw her come out with this, I was like, wow, that's gutsy choice. 
And there's a lot of pressure to sing a song like that, and she nailed it in every way. There's a lot of vocals and lots of range, and all the singing and dancing was spot on. And I have to give credit to the band, the Mark Fissel Band, I think I'm saying that correctly. Wow, what a performance from them as well. Those backup singers completely supported her in such a strong way. Of course, the horns and all the band, it was fabulous. Every time I watch this, because it's been a few times, I'm not reacting this fresh. I wanted to react to this video because I love it. It's fun. I think she has a fabulous career ahead of her. And I wanted to talk about a couple other things. And that is that since this video was recorded and it's been up on YouTube, there's tons of people saying that it's lip synced and there's auto tune and all this stuff. And I just want to bang my head against the wall, of course. And they go, oh, well, it sounds just like the studio recording. Well, guess what? The studio recording was created from these live recordings. <sighs> Very frustrating. No, this was not pre-recorded. No, they were not lip syncing. And if you watch carefully, you can see the band playing live and all the backup singers are singing live and she is singing live. What people don't understand is that in a production like this, there's all sorts of recording going on. We have video recording, we have audio recording. And so what happens is yes, it's all been performed live, but afterwards they're gonna go into audio production and they're going to amp up the audio quality. And that's what they're going to release as a single. So that's why it sounds like the studio. It is the same recording, it's just been enhanced after, after the recording happened. And that's what everybody does. We don't just turn on a tape recorder or have one mic and say, call it good. There's audio enhancement of the live tracks. But I think people don't really understand what it means by recording in the studio and recording live. There's two different ways you do it. So no, they are not lip, lip syncing. They're not lip syncing. I even did a live stream on that and it just annoys me to no end and that people feel that the show is lip synced. It's crazy. There's no way. You can see them right there. The band is reading down the charts. The singers are looking at the lyrics, the backup singers, why at the moment and they're just really great singers. That's the thing. That's why it's called Best of Singers. Dear singers, but they're also great singers and I think with today's pop stars, it's hard for people to understand that yes, there are fabulous singers that can rehearse and perform that well. They don't need to record in the studio. I mean, they can, but this is a live performance. And then later they're going to go and do audio enhancements to release the solo, or I'm sorry, release the, the track, but it's still live. It's been enhanced. She's not lip syncing, obviously. The band is not lip syncing and playing the fake, you know, air horn. I don't think you could even fake playing a horn really that well. And it's really annoying because the craftsmanship of all the singers and all the musicians in this show, those people have been working for decades to build that skill set. Unfortunately, there's a lot of pop music that doesn't require any skill any vocal training because it's all studio enhanced. That's not what's happening here. And also with her tone, feel so right. The airy sound, people think that might be auto-tune, but it's not. No one needs auto-tuning. These singers are fabulous. They have great ears. In fact, back in the day before all the audio enhancements were around, people didn't get recording careers unless they had great pitch great ears, great control, and had, had spent some time really mastering their instrument. But today it's not that way. So I really want to do this video because it's fun. I think Emma is super talented, but I wanted to state that no, this is not a lip sync performance. This was not a studio recording that they're pretending to sing to. It's live. It's just been enhanced in the after quality, the audio effects have been tweaked to maximize the 
recording qualities. I'm not an audio engineer, so that's not my forte. I've sung in the studio and worked there, but I know that that's how those things are done. That's how live, all the live performance pieces, videos have all been mastered after the recording happened. That's how it works. So hopefully this will solve or put out the fire of the comments in this video because I think she's fabulous and I look forward to having her do a release in the United States. I think she has worldwide fan base. All right. Thanks for the likes, shares, and subscribes. If you would like me to react to more Best Zingers, which I'm going to no matter what, please click on the bell and subscribe so you get notified with all my uploads. All right. Thanks for the likes, shares, and subscribes. I so appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.